I have a few cars, but uh, none of them, uh, I don't have a lot of luxury exotic uh, Ferrari, Lambos and stuff. It's not my thing. I like what people might call old hoopties and Silvias and old Japanese cars that break down. Hey, I'm Sultan Al-Qasmi. I drift, I build cars. We're at the Store 17 in Abu Dhabi, capital of the UAE. Ever since I was young, my brothers, my elder brothers, were into uh, motorsports, uh, well, rallying to be exact. And uh, I grew up around cars a lot, but my parents were never fond of it, so. This is a RX-7 a FC, built in Ireland by D-Mac and his guys. Did an awesome job. Uh, being kit on it, the wheels are super cool. It's still running a rotary, bridge-ported rotary. The ECU is a plug-and-play. John Allen tuned it. It's all built in Ireland and we got it here. I haven't really drifted it, <laughs> uh, bar the event we went to as soon as it landed. We went to an event in a, uh, and they had like a small parking lot. I drifted on first gear. So I haven't really, and there was no fuel. We came off the container with no fuel. So I haven't really driven it yet. Hopefully uh, today we'll have a go at it. So we'll see how it is. We'll try it out, we'll see how it goes, and uh, hopefully we don't break stuff, we'll have, we'll have some fun. I think the bumper came up, I didn't see it. <laughs> the tires are like three years old, from Ireland, not used to our weather I think. The first car I ever drifted was an SLS AMG. I know it sounds weird, but there was a small drift event. And I didn't even know what it was. So they were like, yeah, that's drifting. Any, you can come and try. I was like, anyone? They're like, any car with a rear wheel drive can. I was like, can I try with this car? They thought I was, you know, like, are you serious? I was like, yeah, if, if you don't mind. They're like, by all means. So I went in, <laughs> took the SLS out, and I got hooked. To be honest, it was amazing. After realizing you can actually, there's, so, there's more fun into building a car, although you'll hate it sometimes and you love it the other time, but there's more, there, there's more fun. I think it's nicer that you can actually build a car if you can afford everything the way you want it. It's, there's more satisfaction than going to a dealership and clicking the boxes and just grabbing it. It's just preference. Um, so this car basically, I bought this hoping to drift it and then uh, I just never drove it because found out it had 500 original miles on the engine, but this is what made me want into building cars and like, uh, not cars, just drifting in general. I've been uh, born and raised in Abu Dhabi. Uh, I lived most of my life here. Then I lived, I went abroad and it's, it's nice to see the difference. You have a lot of fancy cars here. There's a lot of guys who are into when I was younger, it was mostly racing Mercs and AMGs and stuff. And then you have the off-roaders who would always, would always be souping up the Nissan Patrols, the Toyota Land Cruisers and stuff. Then when you go, when I went to the States and Europe, I saw a whole different side of, uh, of cars where it's stanced and uh, drifting and JDM and drag racing. When I grew up, there wasn't even a drag strip. It was mostly the guys street racing or up, uh, up a sand dune. So. It's it's very it's very different. This is a, this is a truck we uh, I wanted to buy a pre-runner, but I, I love building my own stuff. So we built a Ford 
obviously LS <laughs> LS Turbo TH400. But we took off the front drive shafts. Uh, we put a, it's a rear wheel drive TH400 like the drag cars. So we're running paddle tires on the car, and we did fully built uh, LS2 with the uh, with the hookers. It was making around 6:30, if I'm not mistaken. We interrupt this video to bring you a word from our sponsors. Us. That's right, this video is brought to you by ILB Drivers Club. So if you like what you see, well, not me, if you like the video and you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you head on over to our online store because basically the more you buy there, the more videos we make. What products do we have? I'm glad you asked. We have hoodies and we have t-shirts, air fresheners, spray air fresheners, Posters, hats, and beanies. Stickers, and a pile of accessories. So after you finish the video, head on over to our online store. The link is in the description and help us make more content just like this. <laughs> yeah, so we started 2019 with a one-off build. We wanted to do something different as a drift car. Every year we go to Europe, uh, we do IDC and BDC, GAP, uh, different events here and there with something different. So I was actually hoping and I wanted to do something completely different and that's why I went with the Aston. We started, we bought a street car. I drove on the road for a few months just to feel it out. The car was amazing, to be honest. It was a really nice car. And I'd done fiberglass first, an all cut fiberglass car. And I did a full carbon S15. And I did a Eurofighter E92, was full Kevlar. So this time I wanted something different. I went with forged carbon. It was a pain to do. Uh, it's a bit heavier than I thought, forged carbon, because the layers and the amount of resin and all the stuff you put on. Like going to Europe, you know, everyone's, you know, the guy from the Middle East and the gold and stuff. So everyone was like, just own it. So I just threw all the gold in between. Yeah, uh, delivery worked out well with the with the black and gold with the, or forged and gold, and it kind of gave some of that the the John Player's classic feel, the, the old school feel, and it is a British car, so you know, it worked well, I think. The first engine that was going to go in was uh, actually the guys at PPM really hooked me up uh, from Australia. They sent me a full rotating assembly, crank connecting rods and a high compression. So it was around 15 and a half or 16 to 1. And it was a 7.4 RHS block with mass motorsports heads. It's a brilliant, brilliant engine. But obviously it was, it was too, too loud. Uh, and the exhaust run out from the sides. That's why most of the pictures in Europe, the car didn't have side skirts because the thing kept on catching fire. It, was, it wasn't really catching fire, but it just smelled so bad. It was unbearable in the cockpit, to be honest. I couldn't drive. It's like tear gas. I was sneezing, my eyes weren't watering. So we took off the side skirts. Even with that, uh, the, the NA was too loud. <laughs> Put to, we put the engine on the side and uh, we put a stock LSA, we bought a brand new LSA, took off the supercharger, put a normal intake and twin turbos with mufflers down the side, hoping it would be quieter. It barely made the cut to go into Gatbill. Car we had to send it straight to London and uh, it was picked up and sent to Darren in Ireland. All, all my cars are usually like that. We send it straight to Darren in Group D. Last year, the first event the Aston did was the was Gatbill. So we went straight to Gatbill and it was received very well. Actually won uh, an award there. They did uh, top five GT cars. So it was between this one and a few Lambos and stuff. Obviously, there was a lot of mechanical gremlins that we didn't know at that time. We, um, we had rocks or sand or something in the fuel tank, 
and caused a lot of issues on the injector. The engine that went in was very last second and the manifold was literally a three hour job. So it was getting, every time we'd go out, it would crack and poor Darren had to weld it every time it'd come in. So, you know, it is what it is. We had to put turbos on to quiet down the car. Honestly, after driving it with the turbos, I liked it. It's twin turbo. They spool, I don't even know when it kicks in. It's just drive, like driving an NA. And it's making so around 7.30 to the wheel, uh, just shy of uh, one bar of boost. But fair play to Darren, the boys. Like, uh, they ironed out every year, as they do. I send a brand new build, not only how it handles, and they iron out all the issues and glitches, and I come back here winning, and looking like a hero, to be honest. And it's, it's not me, it's everyone, everyone who works around it, no, it's not me.